Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be popping back in to some more Exoria. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so after being on this planet for quite a while, I'm starting to actually like it. I'm starting to like this planet, you know? I think I might as well just call it home. What? Wait, oh, man, this is just getting to me. This is, this is really just getting to me. I think I should really try and focus on getting off of here. I... I'm already losing my mind. Look, I just so much of the darkness and so much of this ash. <sighs> I'm just kind of losing my mind here. Um, I think we need to kind of push forward. Okay, so let's let's just continue. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting some trades back and forth, so maybe you know we try planting a few things. Look, we have sugarcane now. This is a little bit more reminiscent of home. Uh, we also have this bamboo sapling. Can we place? How do we get the bamboo out of this? I'm not sure. Still something that I'm still not too sure about. I'm guessing you can place this on regular dirt. Ah, looks like you can. And hopefully this will grow into a large plant of some sort. So we do have our sugar cane going. We have this going. We need some bamboo. We also need some wheat as well. Um, and with that, I think we have just about every single seed that it wanted us to make. We got that all last episode. So here's all of this. Um, I think we need to kind of focus on now progressing a little bit farther. Um, and to do that, it's wanting us to kind of gather some bamboo and things like that, but it's also, we need to get some fertilizer. So we can make some fertilizer. Um, then we also need to work on getting a flint grindstone. So a grindstone, how hard is this gonna be to make? Wood gears, cobblestone, flaked flint right flaked flint point and some wood gears so i think that'd be fairly easy to do also i did figure this out so now if you have your search bar on the side here and you just leave it over there this actually gives you the search option down here before it was pushed way over to the side where you couldn't actually see it so this is a good way to go uh, let's focus on getting that flint so how much flint do we have we have a little bit of flint Go ahead and get us some more. There we go. I am just hitting the bottom half here. And then we take this flint and we flick on that. And we just bang this against the ground and we should get, what, sharper flint? Flaked flint point. Okay. So now that we have that, we should be able to make this. We do need some more cobblestone, which is easy for us to obtain. We just need some of this, some regular rock and some of the tear clay that I've been gathering up. That's 24. Uh, the clay, I've been working pretty hard on this. And then also I've created a cobblestone generator over here. So whenever I harvest this stuff, it actually gives me those, uh, it gives me these these rocks here. And that's our, gonna be our main way of getting cobblestone. So let's go ahead and place this. I've tried to organize a little bit, get some of our chests organized best I could. I also created another room in here uh, because we might need this room later on. Who knows? This is not our, our ultimate house. This is just the house for right now until we get some things going. Also place down wood, if you noticed. Let's just make my traveling a little bit faster. Because if you walk on, you know, walk on this ash, it's really slow compared to this. So now I have means of transportation a little bit faster. Also, I did dig a tunnel down there and uh, that lets me get to that water that's over there a little bit easier. So back to what we were making. We were making this grindstone. Let's go ahead and make a gear and make the grindstone itself, right? Uh, what is this? It just, this needs stone. Can we actually make stone, I wonder? Can we cook stone inside of our basic furnace here? That is something that I'm wondering. Can I also use wood? Something else I was wondering. It looks like I can. Will this produce cobblestone? It doesn't take too long actually for this to work. But as you can see, I'm trying to see if, if uh, oh, it does. There we go, it does produce stone. So yeah, it does say it works like a regular furnace. It's just, you know, eh. It's just, a, it's a weird UI to actually get into. You have to place it on the floor because you place it this height, it's hard to access the top shelf. If the top shelf was just one block lower, it'd be a little bit easier to do that. But look at there, we're already getting stone. That's cool. 
Okay, so that means we should now be able to make this thing, right? Look at that, we now have a grindstone. And that's not bad at all. That means we can now take that bone, turn that into bone mill. Ah, so much nicer. All right, let's actually get the tool. I think it's called, it's under Applied Energistics. It's this guy right here, the wooden crank. So, wooden crank, where are you? There you are. And we should never really have to replace the wooden crank again on this. Because I'm pretty careful. I should be able to, to watch what I'm doing. And this will get us a bone mill. There is some other ways of getting, you know, materials like this. I have been keeping up with these and I didn't move them. Um, let's see, this has appetites, right? So the appetite is really good. Let's take this. And you can see if we surround it with ash, we actually double the fertilizer. Even though I thought there was a better way of getting more fertilizer. But I guess this will be the, the one of the best ways. Um, surrounding this and then we'll basically double it. If we do, what is it, fertilizer? Fart. <laughs> That's not what I'm searching for. Uh, is it actually called fertilizer? Yeah, fertilizer. Why is it not showing up in the list? There it is. Okay. So this should work. There's that. I'll grab some more ash. And there's 16. Perfect. And yeah, we can use this now to grow our crops. Will this grow this? I don't actually know how this is supposed to grow, to be honest. I probably need to look it up. It's bamboo. It says, I also wonder if the people at home would trade for me some tree types that I'm familiar with. Um, okay, so... But how do we get bamboo? That's that's what I'm wondering. And it looks like we can get all these different tree types. I'm thinking maybe bamboo is a type of tree. It is. Okay. So this guy is definitely a tree. Wow. Okay, that's going to be fun going up that high. I think this will probably be the best bet. Uh, does the whole thing fall down when we break the bottom? Ah, it does. Okay, never mind. Well, that's not bad. So that gives us bamboo, and then over time, I guess that will drop some more saplings. Or... I just use this. Well, it doesn't look like any saplings dropped. Oh, you're kidding me. No saplings? Hmm. I was hoping I'd get some saplings from that. Um, maybe they dro- no. Looks like I doubt they dropped. Uh, this is, I guess, sticks? Yep, this is considered a piece of stick. Or a sort of stick. Okay. Well, we can trade this, I do believe, if we take a look back here. We trade some charcoal and some bamboo. Like if we look at the uses for this with the elven trade, one to one gets us a boreal seed. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced, boreal. Okay, so we can do that. Let's grab some charcoal. And we'll do 15, why not? That seems perfectly reasonable to me. 15 to 15. And we'll get this all back. Okay. Now we do have some more dirt. So let's go over here, grab our dirt out of here. Our good old friend, Mr. Dirt. There we go. Since we've been stranded here for so long, I begin talking to the dirt. That's just, it's just how it goes now. 
All right, we can make a nice little patch here and get all of our saplings, because that's what this is gonna do. Kind of cool. I wanna make sure to get all the different types of saplings, so I'm gonna spread this all out and then put the magic seed on here. And this turns it into pot soil. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Guess it doesn't reach this far. So there we go. Got some more. And then you just rummage the same way you do all the other stuff. Rummage through here and get yourself some seeds. How nice. Look at that. We get all these different seeds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear out my inventory and get myself going with this. All right, so once you get all of these different, like, leaves here, you can place them down and then break them, and then you'll get the actual sapling in, re you know, in return. And that's what it kind of wants you to do for the quests. There's some regular saplings. I'll take those. And yeah, we're getting like each wood type. There we go. At least we got four of those. I'm happy we got four darks. We only got two jungles, but I think you only need one jungle sapling to make a full jungle tree. Um, and you should be good. All right. Uh, by the way, I almost forgot. I, I didn't make this a little bit larger. Um, and I've just been working with that off camera. So I'm wondering what all these trees do. So we have orange saplings, cherry saplings, apple saplings, orange pears. So these are all saplings. I think they give us fruit. I hope. Banana saplings. These are all different things. Hmm. Apple saplings would definitely be nice. Uh, can we grow this with some more fertilizer? Ooh, we can. Okay. So that's an apple. Do they grow back? That is the question. All right, so I did plant some of these trees. Now, this is not exactly what they look like. I did trim them down so I could walk through the aisleways. Um... But I'm kind of just letting them grow here for a little bit, and then I'll break them all down. But yeah, it looks like, man, some of this wood actually looks really good, and probably would be some really good building material. Um, I'd have to find the, the specific color I like. Like, uh, I don't really like this color, but this orange-looking wood is really cool looking. Uh, the peach wood is also really cool as well. And I like the, the bark texture on these. Like, this bark texture looks really good. Um, but yeah, you also get these fruit from them. So up there, you can kind of see there's a piece of fruit. You just right click on the leaves, and I hope they, I don't know, I'm trying to see if they like grow over time. It looks like you can bone mill the leaves. Um, but over time, you should be able to get some of these saplings. Um, and I think this is all done except for acacia. That's the only sapling we did not actually get was acacia. Kind of crazy. Um, but that's kind of one of those one-off quests. I do see right here that we need to make the stone uh, Gallagher, Gallagher, if I can even pronounce that, um, Gala Gear. So Gallagher, I'm guessing. Okay, so I should work towards a better furnace out of harder materials. Um, I can't harvest obsidian yet, but maybe I can smack obsidian with a hammer, right click, and get some shards. Oh, so, okay, so shift right click kind of as, as if you're doing um, the like gathering. So, okay. Um, I can get some shards and I can use those, but the furnace surely needs a house. Um, okay. That is more waterproof or weatherproof. Um, I can probably upgrade the cob to some kind of water and deb, dab, dab, <laughs> D A U B. Um, so Dob, I think it's Dob, uh, uh, Waddle and Dob. Okay, so maybe we can do that. So we need some cobblestone for sure, a bunch more cobblestone. And then we need to get these obsidian shards and we need to get obsidian, that's one thing we need. We have water buckets, so obsidian should not be an issue. That is something that I, I should think about. Um, I guess maybe before we do that, we should, we should think about water. Um, so. We can take these wooden barrels and actually make ourselves a way to get water. So, what is the barrel? Um, how expensive is the barrel actually going to be for us? Eh, it's not bad at all, actually. 
same old recipe that I remember from good old times. So you should be able to make this fairly quick. Okay, so here's this. And this does require some water. Um, but like I said, we do have access to water. Let me go get some. It's right over here. It doesn't take very long for me to waddle all over here and get some uh, get some water. So I should be able to wash off some of this clay, take the terra clay and turn it to blocks. And now that we have some water, let's try and wash this stuff off. Look at that, we get regular clay from that. Look at that, just some regular old clay. That can be broken down. And if we take a look, We should be able to make a crucible. Now, there are wooden crucibles. That's not what we're needing. We're needing an actual crucible, which requires brick. Seven, to be exact. Did all my wood burn up? Yes, it did. Let's replace this with the clay. We'll take the stone. Do need to get some more containers ready for when we actually start making a few other things. Um, but all we need now is a little bit of charcoal. And our fire starter, right? And there we go. We can get this going. I think we can even put this in here. Let's take this out. There we go. We'll pick those up. I don't want to have too much going on in there because I don't know. Still don't know if it uses the resources um, on you. But yeah, once we get this, we'll have uh, basically a way to get water using leaves. And then we won't have to worry about traveling back and forth a bunch to go do that. We'll just have access to, to water right here. Pretty nice. All right, so I have the crucible set up. If you place fire um, on this ash block, it will stay lit forever. So you can place the, a, a, you know, a fire source underneath it. And we're gonna need these leaves. If you try to use these uh, dead leaves, it doesn't work. I mean, the dead leaves are dry. They don't have any life in them. These these leaves, now they do have life in them. So you're gonna wanna kind of go after these oak leaves or honestly, any of the other leaves I think work. Everything but the dead leaves. And just kind of go after this. And this should get you most of what you need. Um, just get you a few. A stack will probably do. And what you're gonna do because you should be able to fill this thing with leaves, I thought. So guys, I was being a little bit derpy right just then, so uh, I went ahead and went back into the uh, went back into the game, kind of recorded this a little bit after. But to get water in here, you can throw it in there. You have to like drop the physical item in, and that will get you water. So yeah, it's probably a little bit faster to do this way. You can drop your whole stack on there and let it just kind of build up over time. All right, guys, so I want to show you something that kind of freaked me out just a second ago. Um, it's pitch black. Um, you were likely to be eaten by the Groot. Nope, nope, nope. So yeah, that happens <laughs> at night. Oh no. That's what happens when you die. Or that's what happens whenever you're in pitch black. That's horrifying. <laughs> um, maybe that's why it says to only, you know, go out whenever, <laughs> whenever it's daytime. I mean, it is night out, but I mean, I guess, I don't know what it considers completely dark, but that's horrifying um, and hilarious all at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so yeah, let's just, when I fell down there, I fell down there just a minute ago because I was over here working on my farm and I was wanting to plant more rush um, because I was like, oh yeah, that's probably going to come in handy later on. And I fell down the hole and then I closed it and then I realized that was a mistake. Um, so <laughs> now that we know what happens, uh, you know that the Groot will uh, destroy us. Um, let's carry on. So we were working on uh, getting some obsidian, uh, some obsidian shards for the furnace. Well, to get these obsidian shards, we're going to need a hammer, a stone one uh, that kind of looks like this. So 
Is this any type of stone? Looks like just regular stone. Okay. So be sure to grab some of that. I am working on getting my cobblestone up and stone up. So over here we do have a mixture of both. We should have here some regular rock. And yeah, I've just been converting this over to cobblestone and then I'm smelting it. It's exactly what I've been wor waking or working on doing in between uh, cuts and stuff like that. It does take a little bit of time because this stuff is not... Making cobblestone is not as easy as it looks. It definitely is time consuming. So I'll take this cobblestone and replenish our stash here. There we go. And just let that continue running. Okay, so I do have one of the fibers still left over. Let's take a look here. So we need this hammer, right? There we go. There's that stone hammer. And we're going to take one of these water buckets over to one of these lava pools that are off in the distance. Like this, this lava pool over here thing would be the better one. And I think this will work. Yes, of course it does. Sweet. So I don't know if this will break and eventually kill me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig this out, place water here just in case. And we're going to start shift right clicking on here. Right. I guess what it says to do. Scavenge. So shift right click is what we need to do. Um, player needs to sneak. Is it actually break this? I think it's this method. Yes. And what do we get? We got four obsidian shards. So I need to continue to this one as well until it breaks. I want to step off to the side. Leave the water there because you do not want to die to lava. Oh man, that's close. It still happens fairly quickly. Sometimes it's hard to... There we go. I'll stand on the edge. Yeah, we need all of these shards and it looks like they cook up and they give you the plates which is exactly what we're gonna have to do as well okay i don't know how much of these we actually need these get cooked into the plates we actually need eight i think so we have 11 right now that's plenty for me so let's head back and we're gonna cook these down just as if we are cooking anything else down and then once we get the furnaces that'll make life a lot easier regular furnace we'll still probably use this one but you know, for right now, things will be a little bit easier. So as you can see, we only have 43 stone. We're still waiting for a little bit of it to cook up. So I'll be back once it's done. All right, so I got all of this done. I also went ahead and did some more adventuring. Um, so we have a little bit of cob. Let me actually grab the rest of this. And I think I'm actually going to break down this room. And this is the room that is going to be turned into or at least most of it's going to be turned into um, this nicer cob. So let's take this, take a look at this cob here. And you can see if we take wicker, we can actually take this wicker and add it to the cob and we'll get that waddle and daub uh, stuff. So this is what we're going to have to use and have to make. So making the wicker is going to be something that we can, we should be able to easily set up. Let's go ahead and do that. And actually, we can probably go ahead and get the furnace made up. Why not? Um, so the furnace is already set up. Let's go ahead and make this stuff. There's eight of those. And then make the furnace itself. And there we go. We have the furnace. And that should have completed the furnace section, right? Uh, why does it say? Oh, I guess we never held 64 cobblestone in our hand for real. <laughs> You've got to love that. Uh, and we need 40 of that whole, uh, and stuff. So, okay. Over time, we will get the, uh, we'll, we'll get the cobblestone here in a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that as of right now. Of course, I can easily get that stuff. All right, so back to the cob. We do need some wheat. We get that. I hope I have enough wheat to be able to make all this. Um, sticks is something else that I need. Do we have a few sticks in here? Yes, I do. 
And I also have some more terra clay. I'll take all that. And I think loam actually can be turned into clay as well. That actually helps out a lot as you know, to get further, you place the clay or the, the loam inside here and you also get clay as well. All right. So this will help with getting the, the rest of the cobblestone. There's that. We'll just go ahead and grab this. I'm sure this is not going to be enough to complete it for right now. I'll have to do a little bit more cobblestone mining. Perfectly fine with me, though. There we go. Okay, so we have 43. That's fine. Um, okay, back to what we were doing. Let's do... What is it? Uh, the waddle. Okay, so we need a wicker. Let's get as much as we can. There's 10. And I think we're going to have enough of this to get 40. There we go. That should work. Okay. So I basically have to convert this room. I wish there was a better tool. Like even a pick doesn't work very good at breaking the cob. The cob just does not want to break for some reason. Um, but I do need to get at least 40 of this stuff in here. So I'll turn one of these walls, I guess. Maybe the ceiling. But it has to be facing it in some form. So we need to get this done and then we should be ready to go. All right, so I now should be able to place down a normal furnace, right? Yeah, so now we have a normal furnace. Nice, so some recipes still don't work like we can't make charcoal with wood. So no, don't look into that. Um, pretty sure we can still burn stuff though, but now that we have a normal furnace, it's a little bit easier than using this thing. So, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this room needed, it said it needed 50 of these blocks, but we only had 40. Um, and I think I ended up needing 42 or f I think it's 42. No, it was 40 because this is the waddle. We placed it all along this wall, all along this wall, this wall, and this wall. And then we just have this little area. So this is the room that we needed and the, the floor is still the regular cob, so. Um, but yeah, this, this needs a room and this, it needs the, the, the furnace actually needs to see this stuff. Kind of weird how it's working. I don't know how he did that, but it's kind of cool. All right. So we do have this next quest that kind of opened up and it says the hardened stone should allow me to make some special durable tools. Unfortunately, the uses of them are quite limited and should be very, or quite limited, but should be very useful. Should still be very useful. So we need to make these. So these look pretty cool. Um, but they look even cooler. I don't think they've been updated here. Hopefully they end up working with me completing them. They do look a lot better here. So these tools are not very difficult to actually obtain. Um, and we should have more of them, I think, laying around more stuff for them. Um, but let's go ahead and take our cobblestone. Let's take this and we need to make some of it. That'll be three of them for each tool. And then we need to kind of see here. Okay, so we do need these tool rods. We get two a piece for this. I think it's stone, isn't it? That gives it gives it that it's cobblestone. So we're gonna need to take we're gonna need to take some cobblestone and do this. So there's the rods, and then we're gonna need to take out. I don't know if all of this, but I'm gonna take all of it out for right now. And guys, we're gonna be making these picks. So here's this pick. Awesome, let's see. It did not complete in here. I think he needs to fix that. I'll definitely uh, mark that, but uh, this is, oh, nope, there it went. It actually completed, okay. It just looks a lot different in here. Okay, so the next one, the one I really want, the lumber ax. And then, last but not least, the shear. Wow, these guys look so OP. I wish there was a shovel, an unbreakable shovel. That'd be awesome. This lumber axe, though. Like instant. The shear. Oh, that's good. That's nice. I like that. This especially, this takes like a second to chop this wood down. Unfortunately, like you can't even use this on leaves. It's interesting. 
But yes, man, this is awesome. And the, the pick, this guy does cobblestone. I'm pretty sure. It won't break anything else, but it will break. I think it turns it into normal cobblestone. It does have a special modifier. Yes. Look at it. It goes right into our inventory as cobblestone. What in the world is this? This is awesome. So that's going to help out a lot. We'll now have access to a lot more cobblestone, and it's not even like breaking anything. That is cool. I actually like this pick a lot. Like we can stand all the way over here, and we're, we're still getting it. It just goes straight to our inventory. Hmm. So these three tools are something that we're actually going to have to have or, or use eventually. Um, we do need to watch, but I do want these saplings back. Of course, we have a better way of getting saplings. You guys have already seen that. Um, and that is using my horn. And of course, just waiting for those things to kind of fall down. But yeah, this is awesome. Uh, we've gotten quite far, guys. Uh, we're already almost done with the first tab. I know we have a bit more to cover here, but I think this is just about it on this tab. Um, wow. Uh, I think the next is getting up the foundry. And getting some things like that, getting concrete set up. I think concrete will come in handy because it says uh, we'll be needed a factory like building. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get a factory type building set up. I think that will look kind of cool. Um, and then we get into magic. I think that's going to be even cooler. So yeah, I don't know. If you, you Some of you guys said that you were enjoying this pack. I really hope that uh, you're enjoying the playthrough. Um, I'll definitely hound Cubis and say, hey, get this pack out ASAP. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love me uh, love me saying that. Um, definitely with the responses you guys have given. Pretty cool. So uh, hopefully you guys stick around for some more. There'll be some more interesting uh, stuff going on. I can definitely, I, t I can tell. There's going to be dimension things. There's going to be things where we go cross dimensions. Um, we're going to get somewhere with this magic stuff. And eventually we're going to get off this barren planet. For sure. That is, unless I go crazy, you know. Well, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. And as always, you guys are awesome, and thanks for watching. Let's go!